what's up and welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been forever. Um, I did pre-film a video before I went to New York, uh, but I came back to edit it and it was just no bueno. The lighting was horrible, so I didn't want to put it up. I didn't want to put something up that I wasn't proud of. Um, so instead, I'm still going to put that video up later, but I got the new Dose of Colors holiday collection in the mail and I couldn't wait to film with it. So before I even got my PR package in the mail, I did get tagged in this picture of Anna, who is the owner of Dose of Colors, like so many times. You guys think we look similar, which is such a huge compliment, but I loved the look. It's a really cool tone, smoky eye, and I am obsessed with it. So I knew I wanted to recreate it as soon as the package came. And I have this idea, so I wanna start doing a little series here on my channel for all of the holiday sets that are coming out. So this one is all Dose of Colors holiday and some other new products thrown in there as well. But I wanted to start doing that with different brands because everybody's starting to roll out their holiday. So I have um, Tarte, NARS, Morphe, all of those holiday sets downstairs where all of my PR packages are. Um, so you guys let me know which brand you want me to do it with next. It kind of gives you a heads up on what you want to get for the holiday deals because they do give you guys such good deals at the holiday season. So I love this look. I love how cool it is. I feel like this look is so beautiful on like hazel eyes. It just makes the green really stand out in my eyes personally. But yeah, I really, really love this look. And yes, before we jump into the video, I did get another tattoo. I know some of you guys are not on Instagram. So um, I got this whenever I was in New York in Brooklyn. Her name's Nadia. She's incredible. I am so happy I waited and I would never get this tattoo from anyone else. So if you are interested in florals, she is so good. I will leave all of her um, info below. I feel like she's been getting flooded because of me posting about my tattoo, but she's so, so good. And um, for those wondering what it is, it goes down a little bit further. There's peonies. Those are my favorite flowers. And then each of my kids' birth flowers. So yeah, new tattoo and a new smoky eye. So if you guys would like to see how I got this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. To start out, I am just using some concealer all over my lids and then blending that out and setting it with a translucent setting powder. I love just using the concealer that I'm gonna use for my under eyes. And then moving into the palette, we're first gonna use the shade Topless with a Morphe M576. And using this as the transition shade, you guys look how pigmented that is. I barely dipped my brush into this palette. Per usual, Dose of Colors shadows are always super creamy and blendable, but they're very, very pigmented. Now with a JH32 brush from Morphe, I'm picking up Let's Chill. I love this shade. This one is a little bit, I would say this one's like the warmest of the palette. It just gives a nice little, I don't know, a little bit of a difference whenever you blend this with the other colors. I feel like it stands out a little bit more. Now taking the darkest shade in the palette called Smoke Show and a JH40 brush. I have fallen in love with this brush for crease and detail work. I am really just hugging the socket of my eye and you can see here I am bringing it kind of further in than my actual inner corner and just kind of rounding out my eye. That's how the look was on Anna and I really, really love that effect. It just makes your eyes look really, really open. So I am just keeping this really close into the crease, but then we're going to go back and blend it out because it wasn't like a cut crease or anything like that. It was very blown out, but very defined at the same time. I know that sounds weird, but it was, and it was beautiful. So I'm really concentrating on that inner corner, making sure that's blown out. I don't want any harsh lines there. And then just kind of going everywhere else as well. And then it's time for the lid shade. And for that, I am using fine print. It's a very cool toned gray. Like I said in the intro, I feel like this color just really made my hazel eyes stand out. So if you have hazel eyes, try really cool eyeshadows. And now I am just doing a very, very thin line across my upper lash line. Then I'm gonna go back in with a fine angled brush and smudge that out with a little bit of black liner. It didn't look like she had anything harsh or a wing, so I'm just going with a blown out liner. And for lashes, I'm using these new Midnight Lux from House of Lashes, which I am obsessed with. And then time out because Libby came and she hasn't been on camera in a while, so hi. And now we are moving on to the face. 
and for that I am using my Becca under eye corrector my tried and true and I'm using just a little bit of this because I am also using the new Jouer essential high coverage concealer and let me tell you it is very high coverage I feel like it works so well so I'm actually using a couple shades I'm using a very light shade in the inner corner and then a little bit of a closer shade to my actual skin tone to highlight everywhere else so underneath my eyes around the sides of my mouth where it gets a little bit of darkness and then on my chin and nose this blends out really well I feel like you do have to move a little quickly with it a little bit quicker than like my shape tape but I really love the coverage so now I'm just going to set my under eyes with my hourglass setting powder which I can't stop using if you guys have tried it out do you love it as much as I do because I'm obsessed and then I'm just setting the rest of my face with my tried and true candlelight powder from Laura Mercier it sets everything in place but doesn't make me look matte and that's the look that I'm going for. So now I'm just bronzing up my face with a little bit of Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And to contour, I am using Sculpt from this MAC Contour Palette, and I've fallen back in love with this. I used to use Sculpt and Accentuate all the time, and I really love this palette. It's nice and handy, and I love the shades in it. It's perfect if you are closer to my skin tone. And then I am just taking the lightest shades in there, the lightest two, mixing them, and then just kind of cleaning up underneath my contour. And we're going to let that sit while we do our blush. And for blush, I am using Plum Rose. This is one of the butter blushes from Physicians Formula. It's a nice kind of neutral, cool tone blush. And I am just aligning my waterline with a little bit of gray eyeliner. I didn't want to do black. I feel like it looks so, so harsh. And I feel like the gray just really goes with this look. And then I am just buffing all of that out with the darkest shade in the palette Smoke Show. And just really, really dragging that down. Add some mascara to those lower lashes and you are almost done with the eyes. And it's time to highlight. I'm using Opal from Becca and my Smashbox fan brush. Hitting the tops of the cheekbones, the very tip of my nose and the chin. And then I'm also going to be adding this as my inner corner highlight. I did spritz my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus. And then I am really, really packing that on. Her inner corner was really bright, but then she had like a bone shade. I just picked up a random bone shade that I had a little bit lighter than my skin tone that was matte. And then for my lips, I am using Anywhere Caffeine from Makeup Forever. It's a really beautiful kind of brown toned lip liner. And for my lip color, I'm using Let's Get Toasty from their Dose of Colors mini holiday set. And this is a liquid lip, which is the best formula ever. And I love this color. So once you get this on, your look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.